Welcome to the project demonstration of non-invasive glucometer and sending the data to the uh, mobile phone and here we are going to send the data to the mobile phone through this HC05 Bluetooth module and here we are using uh, a red light sensor so this red high brightness sensor will transmit the rays to the finger and the reflected rays will be captured by the photodiode and the, uh, the photodiode output will be given to the analog pin of, of our uh, uh, Arduino Uno board and here we are going to calculate that so based on the intensity uh, light receiving from this photodiode so here if we are uh, coded and we calibrated the received values using Arduino you know so like in such a manner like so if the intensity of the blade is uh, sorry intensity of the light is more then it assuming as less glucose level as, as uh, the glucose levels are increasing in the in the blade then the receiving light will be decreases as the thickness of the light will be increases so then but the thickness of the blade will be increases then the receiving light is going to be the in decreases so it is the in uh, like inversely proportional to the receiving light and the blade thickness so based on this we calibrated the microcontroller or do you know to calculate the approximate uh, like glucose levels in the, like uh, milligrams per deciliter so that's mg for milligrams and deciliters nothing but 10 deciliters equal to 1 liter that's the units of our glucometer and here the power flow is we are going to provide the 230 volts input and the transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and uh, after this regulator power supply board we are going to get the 5 volts constant regulator power supply so there will be a 4 diodes so which is indicated uh, used as a bridge rectifier and after this bridge rectifier we will get the pulsating DC capacitor will remove the pulses so we will get pure DC and after this 705 regulator we will get the sufficient voltage which is uh, used to run the input and output modules along with Arduino you know and the LCD display so once we uh, provide the 5 volts power supply it start uh, sending the data it's LED uh, lighting and whenever we place the finger inside that so the photodiode will receive the uh, light which is emitted from our red blood cells and based on the receiving value we are going to uh, calculate approximate uh, glucose levels in a blade so before switching on this kit we need to install one application that is a SC05 application and after that uh, switch on the power supply right and after go to bluetooth settings in your phone and uh, search for a new device right sc05 password 1234 only this is the initial setup in every phone after this setup was done just go to the uh, application which we installed from the play store and terminal usb devices Right. Better to install this application. This will work in every phone. Right. So blue term and open this. Okay. And uh, now go to the options. Yeah, there's one more application. Bluetooth terminal SC05. So this will work for every phone. And after that. So here we can see the AC05 which we already paid and now open that. Right. So as we can see that the Bluetooth is continuously sending the data, is no fingers detected. We can see that continuously. So when we restart that. Okay, so no fingers detected. So once we place the finger. Right. So it start calculating the data.
so it will take maximum of uh, 10 to 15 seconds so then it was calculated the approximate glucose levels and it will start displaying the same values in your bluetooth phone as well as on the LCD screen so if you move the finger then you will get the malfunctioning values so stay calm then you will get nearby approximate values right